Hi pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, we meet for the first time in the history of a cop show, a French-Canadian gangster in the very polite episode titled One Way Ticket. On This Week in Vice, we'll be covering when this episode of Miami Vice aired from January 19th to January 26th, 1986, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on January 23rd, the first inductees to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame were announced. An all-star lineup included James Brown, Ray Charles, Sam Cooke, Fats Domino, the Everly Brothers, Buddy Holly, Jerry Lee Lewis, Elvis, Little Richard, and the recently passed but out-of-this-world amazing Chuck Berry. In sports, on January 26th, the Chicago Bears defeated the New England Patriots 46-10 in Super Bowl XX. The game was completely dominated by the Bears, but let's get real. The most important win for America wasn't that Walter Payton was in the Super Bowl. It wasn't the Bears' famed 4-6 defense or Mike Ditka locking up a win for one of the greatest teams in NFL history. The most important moment of Super Bowl XX is far and away the Super Bowl Shuffle, the gem of a rap song from the Super Bowl champions. Just get down to the Super Bowl Shuffle. In music, what friends are for is still holding the top of the Hot 100. Just below the Dionne Warwick classic is All I Need is a Miracle from Mike and the Mechanics. Written by the Miami Vice and Go With the Heat favorite Genesis alumni Mike Rutherford, the song would eventually reach number 5 on the Hot 100. The song is a catchy, happy song that would be nominated for a Grammy Award. In movies, 1986 has a constant shuffle at the top of the box office, and this week's movie is a surprise. Starring Lou Gossett Jr. and Jason Gedrick, Iron Eagle wins the box office of what must have been a terrible weekend for movies. Iron Eagle is about a hotshot civilian pilot who is turned away from the Air Force, but is forced to raise his own rescue team to save his father who's held captive in the fictional state of Bilia. I'm sad to say I've never seen this movie. With an amazing plotline and three sequels, I will be fixing that very, very soon, as this this type of so bad it's good story fits me perfectly. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show, GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.